Ma'ahotep. I am Satra Nitert Kepha Abe Menu Ma'at. As I find it interesting as of this moment, because right before I just decided to do this video, I really couldn't speak. But I guess because this needs to be said, and as the beautiful knowledge is power, have sent a prayer and positive energy out from my voice, which I'm sure that has helped to allow me to speak, I give great thanks and appreciation to you, Nidare, for what you have done. This video is titled, Awakening of the Black Common Unity Movement. This is about the event that is going on during the month of February of this year. And we're not in just there, but this is just the beginning and the start of that. And also about the group that was created from that that is also on Facebook. This video was, a need to be was needed to be done because of many reasons. One, because I think that it needs to be said on why this movement has come into play. Certain things seem to be obvious that we are truly in a time of awakening, that we are in the time of the return of Ma'at where judgment is here, which judgment has always been here, which people do not realize because if they truly understood and comprehended the laws of the divine, that they would know that judgment is through every word that you speak, for every action that you do, and every thought that you take. Now, the reason why I felt the need to do this video is because I've had a few people, mostly brothers, who have come to me and I guess in wanting to understand or, um, I'm not going to say go against me, but to understand what my purpose is or what the purpose is and why do I think that doing it in this manner is going to bring some level of change. Well, first to know anything, before you, can, before you can make your larger steps as a child, you must first learn how to crawl. And once you learn how to crawl, then you are learning how to make your first steps when you are a child. Because we are still yet children, because a lot of us are still awakening. So this movement is yet a baby step to bring about enlightenment to those of our of our blackness, of our melanin, of our melanin, who looks like you, so that they can remember who they are, and to understand that Black History Month is not truly celebrated every month or every February that they that they allow us to have. Black History Month is supposed to be about Black history, not the African American history, because understand that to have African American history, you are speaking of a conquered people's history. And that we, as if we began from a slavery point of view. Though our ancestors were taken from our native land, brought here on a ship, packed like sardines, and sold off to many different people. And as we know the history that we learned their language, and the definition that they gave us to the language that they gave us, learned their religion and so on from there. And so... They are allowing us to celebrate the conquered people that were here and to make light of it as if it was something minor and small that we went through. First know that we did not come from slavery. Our people were never slaves. And to be in the slave-minded condition that a lot of us are in to accept that is not acceptable to me. Because black history is about where our ancestors before the slavery movement came into play. We came from a royalty. We came from the originators of agriculture, the originators of government, the originators of the religious practice, the originators of the military, the originators of creative arts. All these things come from us, from our, from our ancestors, who are us now, who are the ones who created the great architect, I'm assuming the architecture that you see, the beautiful artifacts that we get to go to in museums that they have taken out of these places, out of these buildings, out of these structures, out of these pyramids. Now, I've been, I have had conversations where people say, you know, well, we need to fight power with fire. We need to go after them. We need to get our guns and we need to come after, come after them and, and, and fight for our rights. Okay. 
as in a conversation that I was in yesterday, please understand this, what I'm saying to you. I understand your plight. It's not like I'm not one of these people who had that thought once in a while that you just want to go out there and just ravage some folks and try to find the, the next politician out there and knock him silly or try to break uh, break down and, and, and take over the White House. Are you going to tell me that you, know, that you don't have blacks out there that have not thought about that? But as I explain to people, that is not that the white man that is in power is invincible because they bleed like anybody here on this earth because we come here and having to use this body that we're in. So that means we can bleed and that also means that we can die. So in that part, if you can sit here and kill your brothers and sisters and don't have a fear in that, then you should have no fear in them. But understand this, as just like in the metaphorian story of Heru and Set, that Heru was fighting Set on his land, fighting him with the same firepower that Set had. And sometimes Heru won, and sometimes he lost. But see, that is the problem, and that is just a story to explain what we're doing and how, if we keep going at it in this manner, that this is how we're going to continue to lose the battle. I'm saying that we have some beautiful righteous brothers out there who got some plans and who can fight for the death and protect our, protect the women and protect the children and bring some type of life. But trust me, that is only going to be a temporary thing. As even we see, as our beautiful brothers and sisters who were fighting, who were in the Black Panther, they even had to stop for a period of time because they were fighting against people who have now have mastered the physical realm. We black people of melanin who hold the grace and the beauty of the pineal gland within us who are not calcified. We understand the spiritual realm which is far above the physical which the, the spiritual dictates and, ma and manifests things in the physical. And that is what Heru had to do is to go above within himself to call upon the divine wisdom of Dehuti which is the spirit and the wisdom of the one most high to know how to defeat set and use the laws against him and that is not what we're doing because those of us who go into a position of power in the government in the political realm we fall short and we don't do what we're supposed to do and so one you have to infiltrate you have to know their system in order to beat the system and then you have to be able to call upon the sages or the ones who work with work in the one most high and the spiritual realm to give direction so they know where to go how to do this so you can defeat the ones that are on this physical realm that does not comprehend the spiritual realm and so we must do these type of things though this movement right here of wearing what I have on my face does is not maybe not want to sit there and change the world but it's a step of understanding the ancient history of our people the legacy and royalty of our people the royalty that no other man could comprehend or even a, a, imagine what that is like because we not only have the the richness of the land the richness of our stories but we have the richness of our knowledge which is the key to eternal life which is the key to knowing who you truly are which is the key to get back into the spiritual realm into the spirituality into the spiritual journey that we are on this is just it this is a symbol that we are working off of and it is the life force that is within us we are the representation of god man and god woman and that is where we are at this moment this is just one step of the movement there's so much more that needs to be done. It is about awakening the black common unity. I am not here to continue on in a sense of what Brother Malcolm did. I'm not here to continue on what Brother Martin Luther King Jr. did. Or continue on what Marcus Garvey did and so many other people who have helped us along the way. So that people like myself and many others of spiritual consciousness and awareness can do what they're doing with the movement of all these different groups that they have come up with. Non-profit organizations, for-profit organizations, just to help the youth, help our people to become more than what we are. That we must know that we have to start somewhere. You have to, sometimes you have to just have trust in the one most high. Not something you have to have the trust in the one most high and what it is doing so that the awakening of the black people can come about. You have to work on baby steps and this is what we're doing. 
Um, this movement is about awakening, bringing into light the mindset, the beautiful black being mindset so they will know who they truly are, who and where they came from. And what it truly means to have the divine love and the wisdom and trust and peace of the one most high and not the ones that they tell you about. This is what the movement is about because once you become enlightened, once you become conscious, aware, once you become spiritually conscious and aware, there is nothing that man on this earth can do except kill your physical body. But your spirit will still remain and what you have brought into, man, into this world that has manifested will continue on. And this is what people do. You do not live in fear. And so you should never fear knowledge. I'm not putting down my brothers and sisters who are wanting to go out there with their with their guns and rifles and all this other stuff and want to do it. But everybody has to play their part. Everybody has to play their position and know their role. And everybody has to be in their certain levels because no man or no woman is going to be on the same level at all times. Where, where one is strong when, and another is weak. We must do these things to, to balance out each other and to balance out this black community that we need to build. So I'm saying to you, this is the awakening of the black common unity movement. It is the waking of our people so that they can know and remember who they are. So this month, for what they call Black History Month, we are going to celebrate and bring to light the natural light of the one most high to not just us, to the black to the black manifestation of, of God, man, and God, woman, but to all others because if they don't know who we are, then they don't know who they are. And we must remember that. So this is what this video is for. And I thank you again, knowledge is power, my sister, my Nita, for the prayer for my voice, as I'm sure as you can hear that it's starting to go back. So it was meant for me to do this at this time. So I want to give my voice some time to heal. I thank you for taking the time to view this video and great love and peace for my black people, for my gods and goddesses that are out here. Twa too, I love you. I love you. Hotep.